Hello and welcome to my channel where I explore the fascinating stories and teachings of the Bible. In this video, I will talk about the 12 apostles of Jesus and what makes them unique. Who were these men who followed Jesus and witnessed his miracles, his death, and his resurrection? What were their personalities, their backgrounds, and their roles in the early church? Let's find out. The 12 apostles were Jesus Christ's closest followers. Their names were Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James son of Alphaeus, Jude, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot. After Judas betrayed Jesus, Matthias was chosen to replace him. The word apostle means one who is sent or messenger. Jesus chose these twelve men to be his representatives and to carry on his mission after he ascended to heaven. He gave them authority to preach the gospel, heal the sick, cast out demons, and perform miracles in his name. But who were these? Before continue I request you to subscribe our channel and press on the bell icon button for new videos notifications on time men before they met Jesus. What did they do for a living? What were their strengths and weaknesses? How did they die? Let's take a closer look at each one of them. Peter was the leader of the twelve apostles. He was a fisherman by trade, along with his brother Andrew and their partners James and John. He was impulsive, outspoken, courageous, and loyal. He was the first to confess that Jesus was the Messiah and the Son of God three. He also denied knowing Jesus three times when Jesus was arrested. After Jesus restored him, he became a bold preacher and a pillar of the church. He wrote two letters in the New Testament, 1 Peter and 2 Peter. Tradition says he was crucified upside down in Rome under Emperor Nero. Andrew was Peter's brother and also a fisherman. He was a disciple of John the Baptist before he followed Jesus. He was the first to introduce Peter to Jesus. He was also known for bringing people to Jesus, such as the boy with the five loaves and two fish and some Greeks who wanted to see Jesus. Tradition says he died a martyr on an X-shaped cross in Greece. James was the son of Zebedee and the brother of John. He was also a fisherman and part of the inner circle of Jesus, along with Peter and John. He witnessed some of the most important events in Jesus' ministry, such as the Transfiguration, the raising of Jairus' daughter, and the agony in Gethsemane. He was passionate, ambitious, and fiery. He and his brother earned the nickname, Sons of Thunder from Jesus. He was the first apostle to be martyred by King Herod Agrippa I. John was the son of Zebedee and the brother of James. He was also a fisherman and part of the inner circle of Jesus. He was known as the disciple whom Jesus loved. He wrote five books in the New Testament, the Gospel of John, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, and Revelation. He emphasized love, truth, and eternal life in his writings. He was exiled to the island of Patmos by Emperor Domitian where he received visions from God. Tradition says he died a natural death in Ephesus at an old age. Philip was from Bethsaida, the same town as Peter and Andrew. He was one of the first disciples to follow Jesus after John the Baptist pointed him out as the Lamb of God. He was practical, logical, and curious. He asked Jesus to show him the Father and how to feed the crowd. He also brought Nathanael, or Bartholomew, to Jesus. Tradition says he preached in Asia Minor and died a martyr in Herapolis. Bartholomew is also known as Nathanael in the Gospel of John. He was from Cana in Galilee. He was honest, sincere, and skeptical. When Philip told him about Jesus, he asked, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? But when he met Jesus, he was amazed by his knowledge and declared him to be the Son of God. Tradition says he preached in India and Armenia and died a martyr by being skinned alive. Thomas is also known as Didymus, which means twin in Greek. He was loyal, courageous, and doubtful. He was willing to die with Jesus when he went to raise Lazarus. He also asked Jesus how to know the way to the Father. He was not present when Jesus appeared to the other apostles after his resurrection, and he refused to believe until he saw and touched Jesus' wounds. He later confessed his faith by saying, My Lord and my God. Tradition says he preached in India and died a martyr by being speared. Matthew is also known as Levi, the son of Alphaeus. He was a tax collector for the Roman government before he followed Jesus. He was despised by his fellow Jews as a traitor and a sinner. He was generous, humble, and grateful. He invited Jesus and his disciples to his house for a feast with other tax collectors and sinners. He wrote the Gospel of Matthew, which emphasizes Jesus as the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. 
tradition says he preached in Ethiopia and died a martyr by being stabbed. James James was the son of Alphaeus and the brother of Jude. He is also known as James the Less or Jam. As the younger to distinguish him from James the son of Zebedee, he was faithful, humble, and obscure. He is not mentioned much in the New Testament, except in the lists of the apostles. Some scholars identify him with James the brother of Jesus and the author of the epistle of James, but this is disputed. Tradition says he preached in Syria and Egypt and died a martyr by being stoned or clubbed. Jude was the brother of James the son of Alphaeus and the cousin of Jesus. He is also known as Judas, Thaddeus, or Lebias to avoid confusion with Judas Iscariot. He was faithful, humble, and obscure. He is not mentioned much in the New Testament, except in the lists of the apostles and in one question he asked Jesus. He wrote the epistle of Jude, which warns against false teachers and urges believers to contend for the faith. Tradition says he preached in Mesopotamia and Persia and died a martyr by being shot with arrows or axed. Simon was also known as Simon the Zealot or Simon the Canaanite. He was a member of a radical Jewish sect that opposed the Roman occupation before he followed Jesus. He was zealous, patriotic, and devoted. He is not mentioned much in the New Testament, except in the lists of the apostles. Tradition says he preached in Egypt, Africa, Britain, and Persia, and died a martyr by being crucified or sawn in half. Judas was also known as Judas Iscariot or Judas the son of Simon. He was the treasurer of the group of apostles. He was greedy, deceitful, and treacherous. He betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver to the Jewish authorities who wanted to kill him. He later regretted his action and tried to return the money, but it was too late. He hanged himself in despair. His place among the apostles was filled by Matthias, who was chosen by lot among two candidates who had followed Jesus from his baptism to his ascension. These are the twelve apostles of Jesus and what makes them unique. They were ordinary men who were called by an extraordinary savior. They had their flaws and failures, but they also had their faith and fruitfulness. They witnessed firsthand the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. They spread his message to the ends of the earth. They suffered persecution and martyrdom for his sake. They left us a legacy of love, service, and sacrifice that inspires us today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and interesting about these amazing men who followed Jesus Christ. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more biblical content. Also, feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions about this topic. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you.